going on a trip to New Orleans, so put on your walking shoes, crank up the jazz, and prepare your eyes to take it all in. New Orleans should be on your travel wish list whether you're seeking for a family, friendly vacation, or just want to have a good time. New Orleans is a city full of countless options to experience culture and history with scary tours, Creole restaurants, and museums that cater to countless interests. Join us as we travel through the top 10 things to do in the Crescent City by boarding one of the historic streetcars. The French Quarter, one of New Orleans' most renowned areas, is where we first stop. With its cast iron balconies, exposed brick homes, and cobblestone pathways, this neighborhood is renowned for its exquisite architecture. The French Quarter also exhibits vibrant elements that represent the city's Caribbean history. The area is regarded as a national historic landmark and is sometimes referred to as New Orleans' crown jewel. Be sure to visit Jackson Square, where the St. Louis Cathedral and the statue of General Andrew Jackson are located while you are exploring the neighborhood. The oldest cathedral in the country that has consistently been used for services is this one, and it is still in use today. Visit this historical site to take a short look around or go to Mass, which is offered every day of the week. A trip around the Garden District, a lovely, historic district with magnificent houses encircled by ivy and other vegetation, is the second best thing to do in New Orleans. Those looking for a break from the bustle may breathe a sigh of relief when they visit this location because it is well-renowned for its calm atmosphere. Take the St. Charles Streetcar to the Garden District, then take a walking tour of the neighborhood to get the whole experience. When you're ready for a break, check out some of the stores and cafes in the area. Moreover, Commander's Palace, which some consider to be the best restaurant in the city, is located in the Garden District. In addition to a wide selection of wines and specialty cocktails, Commander's Palace serves Creole seafood meals. Make sure to inquire about reservations and the dress code by calling or visiting the restaurant's website. Visit one of the many museums that are spread out over the city, which is our third piece of advice. The National World War II Museum is located in New Orleans, a city with a rich history. Even if you aren't very interested in history, this museum offers memorable, individualized encounters. After you enter, you will be paired up with someone who actually served in the war, and you will learn about it through film and oral narratives. For an even more immersive experience, the website also provides the 4D film Beyond All Boundaries, which was made by Tom Hanks. Although kids are welcome in the museum, parental supervision is required because some of the exhibit aspects could be a little upsetting. The New Orleans Jazz Museum is another historical landmark in NOLA. Through interactive exhibitions that explore the depths of this genre, discover the origins of jazz music. Throughout their visit, guests will have the opportunity to view artifacts, watch videos, and listen to music. The museum also offers educational activities for people of all ages and hosts music almost every day of the year. Attending a jazz performance ranks as the fourth best thing to do in New Orleans, speaking of music. The most well-known venue in the city is Preservation Hall. It is a compact, private space that was formerly a gallery. The musicians were initially just brought in to assist attract potential customers, but as these clients started coming solely for the music, the hall evolved into a music venue. Make careful to buy in advance because it can be difficult to secure a ticket, especially the day of the event. Almost 50 different bands perform at concerts each year, which last about 45 minutes. Another venue for live music is the Spotted Cat Music Club. Every day of the week, brassy bands playing jazz and swing are featured there. There are no entrance tickets required, and reservations are not possible here. A minimum purchase of one drink is required, and all customers must be at least 21 years old to enter. With limited sitting and primarily standing room, visitors are urged to dance. Spending time at the adaptable New Orleans City Park ranks fifth on our list of the top 10 things to do in New Orleans. 
The park, which spans more than 1,300 acres, is home to a number of attractions, including the Sydney and Valda Besthoff Sculpture Garden, the New Orleans Museum of Art, and the New Orleans Botanical Garden. Storyland is an outdoor exhibition with enormous sculptures of children's book characters that the youngsters will like. Moreover, there is the Carousel Gardens Amusement Park, which features a Ferris wheel and bumper cars among its 18 distinct carnival rides. In addition, the city park is home to some of the country's oldest oak trees. A fun activity for the whole family that is ideal for a sunny day is taking a stroll around the picturesque pathways of the New Orleans City Park. Next is the sixth suggestion on our list, which is to just relax with a drink in the city. The French Quarter, which includes the renowned Bourbon Street in New Orleans, permits people to carry open containers while exploring the area. The Sazerac, a whiskey-based cocktail popular in New Orleans, may be found on the menus of most local bars. The Sazerac House, which is situated in the area where the beverage was first served, offers details on the background and cultural significance of this concoction. Another famous spot to get a drink in New Orleans is Carousel Bar. This historic tavern, which has been operating since 1949, is well known for its merry-go-round bar counter. In the French Quarter, the Hotel Montelion houses the Carousel Bar and Lounge. The best 20 bars in the world list compiled by Vogue Living includes this bar. We have an animal encounter at the neighborhood zoo or aquarium as item number 7 on our list of things to do. Animals from all over the world can be found at the Audubon Zoo, one of the best zoos in the United States. Visitors can board the Swamp Train on Saturdays and Sundays, which stops at three of the several main displays, including the Louisiana Swamp Section. The African Savannah, the Jaguar Jungle, and the Cool Zoo are a few more well-liked exhibits. With almost 3,600 animals, the Audubon Aquarium of the Americas is likewise well regarded. The aquarium will reopen in the summer of 2023, but it is currently closed for renovations as of early 2023. Exotic fish including the pot-bellied seahorse, the Leopoldi stingray, and moon jellyfish are available for viewing by tourists. At one accessible location, New Orleans provides wildlife encounters with creatures from all over the world. Investigating the shopping scene in the Big Easy is our next priority. Even though the city is full of boutique stores, Magazine Street is one of the most well-known locations for shopping in New Orleans. There are numerous stores and eateries along the six-mile-long route. Beautiful murals can be seen as shoppers pass them while enjoying coffee from one of the many nearby cafes. Magazine Street is the ideal location to purchase items with a local flavor, items from other countries, clothing, and even antiques. Take a trip on a riverboat is the ninth piece of advice. The steamboat Natchez provides daytime and evening cruises with the choice of eating on board, lunch or dinner, or just riding for the scenery. On Sundays, brunch cruises are available. The two-hour cruises feature exciting jazz music and historical lecture. Holidays are a great time to take these vacations because the ship is so nicely adorned. Get your tickets in advance because it can be difficult to find them on the day of the event. Investigate the spookier attractions of the city is our 10th and final suggestion for things to do in New Orleans. Graves can be found in stone crypts above ground all across New Orleans because the city was built over a swamp. Voodoo has a long history in New Orleans and ghostly activity has also been reported there. New Orleans offers a wide variety of walking tours that investigate these kinds of subjects, including ghost tours, vampire tours, and voodoo tours. Some people assert that it is the most haunted city in America. The New Orleans Museum of Death and the Mortuary Haunted House are other attractions. During the Halloween season, there are a lot of haunted house attractions in New Orleans. Many people aren't even aware of the various attractions available in the Big Easy because New Orleans is most renowned for its Mardi Gras customs. There are many places to go exploring in New Orleans, and there are always opportunities to engage with the city's art, history, and culture. 
All right, everyone, this is it for now. How did you find New Orleans? Let us know in the comment section and see you with the next travel video.